Hello and welcome today, we're checking out Empires in Ruins. This is a strategy game being developed by Hammer and Ravens over on Steam Early Access as of just a couple days ago. So it's a strategy game with, it's like a blending of genres here. We've got, we start this game out as like a 4X turn-based, like an like a empire building kind of, kind of a setting here. Uh, but once you get into the combat mode, it switches over to a kind of a tower defense. It's, it starts out very tower defense, but there's more to it. So... Lots of things going on here, and I thought it was worth checking out. So let's go and do that. Set up a new game here. We've got campaign mode. We have a sandbox mode. Campaign takes you through, you know, story and easy in the game and all that. We're going to go to sandbox, though, and and uh, jump into the game here. We're going to go easy mode, though, because this game, it ain't easy. It's really not easy. Uh, <laughs> I keep failing. So we'll try easy mode to see if I can not fail. So we're on a, a static map here. This is how you always, it's always this map, and I think the, I think even the provinces are the same each time for sandbox mode. Uh, but here we are in Calamir is my province. So this is the 4X part of the game. Now here in Calamir, we can do a few different things. We've got, you know, the most important part of town. We've got the grasslands and the stones that are nearby, which is providing me some resources that we're bringing in each turn, coming in this way. Uh, I've got a um, uh, army versus guards modifier over here, or, or meter. Um, I've got some taxes coming in this way. We've got a attack value, authority. We've got four, 15 people here, living here. versus uh, And once we hit 20, then it bumps up to uh, next up above a camp. And um, we can come in here, we can build new things. We can add in like a guard post, or a uh, scout tier. There's all kinds of things we can make. Laboratories. Once we get big enough, we can add in mines and quarries and markets. But for now, let's just add in a... Uh, let's add in a, a guard post. Sure. So in, uh, in six turns, we'll have ourselves a guard post here in town, uh, which will help our fighting abilities. All right, so we got three provinces here that we can all look at. We've got, uh, well, let's introduce, introduce myself. I am Hans Heimer here. I'll get uh, experience, which I can add into these these, these spots here, which will help me be a better person over time. Uh, I also have Matthias Wunsterberg here as my, my spy, which we can send him out on missions to go figure things out. Because we got Velbert here, but we know nothing about Velbert. Who knows what this is? It's a curious place. Let's go send them out. Let's go spy this place. Uh, from here. From here. So we got a good chance of, of seeing some things. So next turn, at night, he'll give me a report about what's going on here. Um, we also have a lot of research. which We'll look at research in a minute. Um, it's, well, it's big. So we'll, I won't jump into too much here. Um, we'll go scout this place out and see what we can find. So we have scouted it out now. We can take a look. We've got a 100% chance of success. We found everything. So we know what this province is doing. It's pretty weak. It's got lots of loot. Production is is what we'll get once we take this place. It's grasslands, a forest. Uh, there's also some ore deposits nearby, which is good for us because we want this town. It seems like a good place to live. So let's send the army in. Send them in there. Come from here. Okay. Uh, we're better than them, so charge in there. Take out these filthy bandits next turn. Um, I have leveled up. So I got some, some skill points here to spend. So we'll put some into leadership. Gives me, like, loyalty, which we'll talk about in a minute. Prevents rebellious events. That's a big part of the game. We'll talk about it in a second. Uh, tactics. Tower and soldier damage. Sure. Uh, empathy. Outrageous. Management. Things are cheaper. Um, I'll just put it all in tactics. That seems like a thing. All right. And I can eventually get special abilities at some point, which I haven't gotten to yet, so I don't know what those are. All right, so we can attack these guys uh, next turn. It's nighttime right now, as you can see. And um, you can see, also see Faults here is a very big town. I'm a tiny town. We got uh, Geeson up this way, which is pretty small as well. But we're going to Velbert over this way. Um, we have... Um, let's take a look at some of this this riot stuff. So here in, in my town, we gained a person already. We've got uh, some rebellious activity. Very small amounts, but it'll get out of hand before too long. And when it does, we can come in, we can quell the riots. We can talk to them, we can, we can scare them, or we can, we can really scare them with our swords um, over time to take, take care of those rioters. You can see in 18 turns, there will be a riot in town here. Another big part of this game is we can, we can control what we build in this province, but when we take new ones, we can install uh, officers. We got Ugo Mushmeki. Uh, <laughs> we got Karsa... And Gula over here. So these guys, they have like different, you know, perks and minuses and all that. And they also have a loyalty. And so we want to make sure we put someone that's loyal to us in the provinces to run these things. Otherwise, they'll rebel and it'll just be a bad day. All right, sun up. Killing time. Let's fight. We can let the computer do this if we want. But no, 
Enough talking. Time to fight. Alright, welcome to the tower defense part of the game. So, um, it's it's best you not uh, you not try to think about this too much. Alright, so bear with me. We're we are conquering this town over here. So in order to conquer this town, we're gonna play a power a, a tower defense game. We're gonna go in here, we're gonna build some towers to defend the town. I know, I know, I understand, I understand. Uh, from the things coming to kill us. I don't get it either. Uh, I may just build it out. No, we'll build it over here. Um, so things are come from these spots over here and try to kill us. While we try to defend our camp. <laughs> I, I don't get it either, but whatever. Uh, we brought some resources along. We can build uh, We can build a scout tower. We can build a, gar a catapult tower and a guard tower. Guard towers shoot bows. Catapult towers shoot rocks. And scout towers just sort of see what's coming. So let me set this guy out here. He can get a spotlight. We can see what's where they're coming from with that guy. We've got Heinz and Mick are our builders. They'll come out and make things. Now we can get to a point. We can do this now if we want to. We can, we can build a lumberjack right now, which will bring in more wood each turn. So we'll throw him out here. Before this fight starts, we'll throw him out uh, right right there. It's fine. Now to come up here and build ourselves a lumberjack, which will give us more, more wood for, uh, for more things in the future. We can also upgrade these guys' range, fire, and damage. There's new towers we can unlock later on. Uh, we have a lumberjack. We can eventually get barracks and all kinds of things we can make. Barracks, which we can make soldiers to go out and fight here as well. Um, so it becomes much more than a basic tower defense at some point. We want to know the tower, but we need more gold for that. So we're going to just uh, fight. Sound the horn. So, again, I'm trying to think what's going on here because it's very confusing. We're defending this town. So what does the enemy do to, to prevent this from taking their town? Well, they send in their dogs. Obviously. So here comes a whole bunch of rabid hounds. Hounds' bites will cause co uh, continuous damage for five seconds. So, yeah, I, whatever. But these dogs are coming in here. We're going to try to fight them off with our one measly tower. Which we probably aren't going to be able to do. <laughs> uh, but we'll get, we'll get an example of what happens when we, our, our home gets damaged. We'll lose some hit points over here. This is our strength of our house. If it runs down to zero, we die. What do you need for a tower? Need more. Lots of gold. So he's going to shoot them and see what we can do here. Man, this is, um, it ain't easy, it's for sure. On, I'm on beginner level now. I haven't tried beginner yet. I've been playing intermediate, and I've been losing badly a lot. Oh, I got two hits on me. Let's build another tower. So, uh, as you can see, we got 95 seconds till the next wave comes in. But if I spend my money, or I can, if, I, if I bring them in now, I'll get a lot of cash. So we're going to sacrifice the wood production we'll get over time for uh, bringing them in now to get more gold. Let's build another tower. There we go. So this guy's going to run out here and build this thing real quick. We got something else coming in here. Uh, can we build another tower? 966. But we have enough to upgrade this guy. Let's go give him a fire rate and, uh, and a damage boost. And that's all we can do there. We can get up to, up to two pips of of rank in each of these range, damage, and, and fire rate. Without, without more research. We got a new enemy coming in. The dogs didn't do it. So it's time to send the bandits in. If the bandits hit my main castle, they're going to steal some of my, mon my money. My money. <laughs> I can talk, don't worry. <laughs> um, but we're going to see if we can shoot more dogs. We've got tower number two this time, though. Now, we could call the next wave if we wanted to get more cash. Which might be a bad idea. We give us more gold to fight this wave off. Uh, we may be able to do this. Now, there is more we have control over this. If we wanted to, we can tell them, you know, fire at... Who we want to shoot at, we can tell them, you know, lock on targets, that kind of thing. Uh, I'm going to increase... Let's work on... I want another tower. I want a catapult tower. Yes, yes. Yeah, right there. Okay, buddy, get to work. That's all my money. Bring them in. More money, more uh, more fire rate, I think, is probably the best one for now. Shooting fast seems like a good idea. And we got... Here they come. I can bring this one in. Do we want to do it? Let's do it. Let's get crazy. Okay. Uh, with my money, I'm going to spend damage upgrades. Let's go upgrade these guys. Range? Sure, range. Uh, range on you too? Yeah, why not? Okay, so Catapult Man is, is blasting some folks. We can tell him to shoot a certain spot if we want to. And we're mowing him down. The sound effects level in this game is, is broken, so that's why it's very quiet. You can hear whenever they whenever they actually build things. You know what? Why don't you just always face that way? It makes things a lot a lot better. Uh, actually, I think I want you to fire at the toughest enemy. That way, you're not all firing at the same guy. Money's flying in here. 
Did one get through? Oh, no, we stopped them all. Okay, good. Oh, man, easy level. So much better. So much better. Man, I was doing, I was doing terrible. I was, I was doing terrible. Let's not talk about it. It was terrible. Uh, raise that up. And uh, more damage. What do you do? Nothing? Next wave. We need more wood. I'm tempted. Oh, we have we have a new uh, a sapper. Okay, so these guys will dig tunnels, and they'll open up new paths. They also blow up whenever they die. He's going to come in. Where is he? Is that him? There he is. He's going to start digging a hole. He's going to come dig and pop up somewhere here and create a new a new hole that anyone can use. Dogs or whatever. So, we don't like that guy. I like I need a new range. I want to spend that much on it, or do I want another tower? I want another lumberjack. Another tower will do. Yeah more tower, more better. So he's over here digging under the ground like a jerk. Making new holes that we uh, we don't want to deal with, but we're going to have to. Yeah. Be quiet, buddy. It's loud. Increase his range. Okay. I think we need another lumberjack. Let's get another one lumberjack. Pop him over there. No, oh, he blew up and hurt my tower. Go repair that, please. We have a new guy coming in. We've got a, uh, a bear handler. Every time he's around a bear, he gets more damage. There's no bears yet, though, so they'll come in later. So we can repair this thing with all of our, our precious, precious tools. All right. That's two lumberjacks means lots of wood coming in, hopefully. All right. You guys throwing axes at me. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Increase your rate of fire, buddy. Okay. No problem. Oh, man. I'm saying oh, man, because you didn't see what this is on intermediate uh, intermediate difficulty. It, <laughs> it's unpleasant. All right. Uh, that's good. Uh, we can give you, yeah, more damage. Uh, increase that range. Sure. Let's just waste that money. Okay. Next wave's coming in. Let's go ahead and speed it up here. They come. They're using that tunnel that guy made. Which doesn't really do me any good. On on other missions, I got kind of lucky here. On other missions, well, not really lucky. I knew this was going to happen because this map is the same in this province every time. Um, but in other provinces, uh, you're like stuck in the middle and you got to fight both sides. So it's it's a uh, it's rather unpleasant. When that guy gets done. I'm going to upgrade you to maybe rate of fire. Be better for you. Oh, we can afford. Okay. Oh, I did that already, didn't I? Whoops. So we got bears coming in. Bears are just... The only thing about bears is they're, uh, quick, they're huge, hairy, and quick to temper. They have lots of hit points. And they're coming in with their dog friends. More rabid dogs. This guy's already all the way up. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. And this one can do some more range. Sure. This guy can do one of each. Once we get some iron, that's what we need. But we can't build iron mines yet. We can get them once we get research done. Bomb bomb those bears. Take that, bears. So apparently what I've learned from this is that the camp, the town we're taking is apparently run by bears, dogs, and bandits. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it either. I don't know that he needs more damage. Well, maybe it's like an area effect, area effect thing. Um, I need iron. It's coming in very slowly. Here they come. Okay, coming in with our bear friends. Could do another tower. Oh, maybe we, oh, we need. Oh, yeah, we need one. Go to the tower right, um, right there. Gather and make that thing. I need a range. Okay, bring him in. Wish I had some iron. Be quiet! It's so loud. Oh yeah, have some range. Okay, wave ten. Here comes a bear and his handler. More aware bears and, our, and their handlers. The guys I'm really worried about is these, uh, well, these guys aren't too bad. The bands are fine. The sappers are the ones that blow up. These guys are hurting me. We can repair these, though. Uh, my, um, what's his name? Hines over here can get hurt if he gets hit by these things. So we don't want to go send them out all willy-nilly, you know. They'll, they'll get beat down, and then I'll feel bad. Oh, yeah, range will be good on you, for sure. Oh, uh, yeah, bring him in. We got next wave coming in. We'll bring in we're going to go ahead and call the next wave while we're at it. Anything here? You're all good. Damage? Sure. Here they come. You know what? Bring in the next one. Yeah, last wave as well. We can do this. We're crazy. 
Here they come. A whole horde of bandits. I guess it is a bandit town, so it makes sense that there's bandits here. I guess. That's the only thing that makes sense. <laughs> All right. There you go. The area effect is quite nice. Don't let anyone through. Yeah. Man, this is so much easier on easy versus intermediates. I feel like, I feel like, man, I feel terrible. I don't feel terrible. I feel fine. Never mind. I was going to say I felt bad for being on easy level, but no, no. That's more my style. All right, we're mowing them all down as much as we can. We got, This is the last wave. Buildings are in fine shape. That sapper's going to do some, cause some trouble. Stop throwing things at me. Another sapper in here. Oh, I broke my building. No, we win, though. You win, Commander. You will live to fight another day. Excellent. We got two stars out of that one. We got some kills, experience, all kinds of stuff. No workers died. All right. So now, we now own that province. Victory. So under, under our control, what should we do with it? Do we want to peacefully occupy without bloodshed or pillage the place? And uh, we will gain an army might, but we'll lose some rebellion. and all. People don't like that. Uh, but we'll go ahead and we'll lose the stuff peacefully. All right, so Velbert is now under our control. Velbert, as you can see, we've got um, authority and re rebellious activity is down. Um, what we can do, though, is... I don't know that I can... Can I? I cannot actively manage this place. I can only actively manage, actively manage my headquarters, but I can assign someone to this place. Like uh, like old Ugo here. If you put him in, you can see what it's going to do for us. Um, actually, I think Ugo is probably the worst one to put in. This guy's pretty good. Yeah, Gulo. I'm going to assign uh, Officer Visiber. Yeah. Okay. So he's going to run this place and, and uh, get it in ship shape. Bringing me in some materials. Excellent. Perfect. Okay, so now we have a second province. Now let me show this, uh, the research tab here. All right, so uh, it's it ain't small. Right now we're just towers, right? We know how to make, we can know how to make a, like a guard tower. We can eventually learn what a, what a composite bow tower is at some point. We got one thing of research right now. Uh, there's soldiers and workers. We could go and improve our soldiers and give them armor and things. You're wondering, soldiers, that doesn't make any sense, but you can go in and make barracks. Which allows you to make soldiers. You can have better walls. Uh, all kinds of things that you can eventually get in here. Forts or whatever. Uh, you can also come in and, and increase like your worker's health as an option. Uh, so if I wanted to put in like a uh, this guy. Let's research this technology. Okay. So it takes, it takes I think it takes seven. It takes seven point cost. We've got one point in there so far. So each turn it'll, it'll tick up. I think you get one per... Um, province you own? Well, this one's giving me one. What are you giving me? Oh, you're giving me two. Oh, nice. Is that because of you, buddy? Um, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I'm going to say it's because of you. Thanks, buddy. All right. So now we do it all over again. We can come in. We can charge in somewhere else. We can see a few new places, though. we got a giant spot over here. A tiny little heim up in the mountains here. Flag off. I'm going to go take a look at... Now it looks like a castle. Let's go scout this place out. Yeah, send them from there. Okay, we'll go see what we've got over there and flag off. Pass the turn. Okay, let's go. Um, yeah, scout orders what we have. Brilliant success. There is not much of an army. A lot of stuff there, though. There's water bodies there. We can build, like, fish deposits or fish spots. Um, yeah, let's go Let's go beat it up. Where do we send them from? We send them from... I think we're going to send them from here. It's going to take two turns to get there. Cost me too much money. It was expensive. I can't afford to do that. Well, maybe we won't go there. Hmm. All right. What about uh, this one? Let's get this one out. Send him from there. Pass the turn again. What do we got? 75%. So we got partial success. There's a few question marks in there. We don't know how big their army is, which is a problem. Um, okay. Uh, if I want to attack that one. Still too much. Hmm, that might be because of the size of the town. I need some resources in here. Uh, I didn't actually set up... Well, can I see what you're actually building? I can't tell you to build specific things. Are you... What are you making? I can only give direct orders. He's building a guard post right now. I can only direct, direct orders where I'm from. I can tell you to focus on certain things if I wanted to. Um, we can see what he's got built in town here. When do I get my thing built? How long? How much longer? Is it done? 
Oh, we got uh, two more turns. We'll have a guard post here. Okay, and we're almost at the next level. Let's go one more day here. I suppose I just got some things out. Oh, research man, what do you want? Are we done? Did we get it? Um. Oh, we did. Okay, already researched. Oh, flaming arrows. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so we got a new tower. Hmm. Outpost tower, cannon tower, ballista tower, repeating ballista. I like the sound of that. I like the sound of these flaming arrows. At least, uh, unlock first the previous tier with at least two core technologies. Mm, I think it means, I don't know. Maybe these. That one. Okay. Do that one. Fast reload. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is just a column. I was thinking these are things too. These are just the columns. All right. Um, yeah. Sure. Okay. So let's go one more. Let's go scout out faults. Send it from here. A man has to join our rank. Shall I let him in? Sure. What do you want, buddy? So Ermo here, at Ermo Kesselring, would like to be a part of one of my officers. So again, my officers, I, I put in, assign him in certain spots. Big question is, how loyal is he? But we can see all his perks here. He's not much of a damage guy, but he is a good social guy. He's a sweet talker. He cost me 450 bucks. I can't afford him. He's also a blacksmith and a stonemason. So yeah, we can bring him in, but I'm broke, so we're not gonna. Uh, we're level 20 now, which puts me up to a camp. When do we get to grow up? I want to grow up. Reinforcements? No, no, we don't want to do that. Uh, upgrade settlement. Let's do that. So, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Upgrade to a fort. Okay. All right. Let's go. Think that we got 75%, which you can see. Not their army. This is a big town. Who wanted to conquer this place? Oh, did I level up also? I did. All right, give me more tactics. Here we go. Oh, what's that? I missed it. I wasn't... I didn't see that was a thing. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go fight it. Can you go in? Th yeah, we can do this one. If we had wood, we could. We're gonna hold off. Okay, we leveled up. We are now a. Nope, not yet. We're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> I don't know how many turns it is. Under construction, but I don't know how. How? Oh, one more turn. Okay. And then we'll be a fort. Who? Who else wants in here? Dimitro, um, sure, Dimitro, come on in. Nope, I already have three. Never mind, get out of here, Dimitro. All right, let's go, and there's my new fort, which now has a, has, well, and I was starving. Okay, let's go build some things. I would like you to build me a, we have a, a temple, which gives me happiness. Pastures give me food. Quarry, I have to go with pastures, I think. Built four turns, give us some food. We are eating 15, we need, we only have 13, though. So that's it's a bit of a problem. Let's go deal with that. And then let's go and see if we can take faults. Yeah, we can. Let's go in there. Next turn, they'll be there. Okay, let's fight them out. Now, I'm assuming this will be a difficult fight. But uh, we're already at 23 minutes. I'm going to see what happens if you auto resolve. What happens? Chance of victory, 75% chance. I like the sound of that. Victory. Hooray! Let's hope for some sort of watching something, but yeah, let's occupy that place. No bloodshed is necessary. Let's stick, um, who wants to go in? You're really the good one. There's a, there's a bit of a rebellion chance, but no, we'll put you in there. Okay, get in there, buddy. Go uh, take care of this place. And you notice my next turn for riot has gone way down because we are conquering things. People like that. People like a little bit of bloodshed every once in a while. And anyway, there's Empires and Ruins. We're calling it a day here. It's over on Steam in early access at the moment. I'll have links below, of course. But thanks again for watching. And I will see you next time.